everyone welcome to or welcome back to another Karen and their vlogs and you guys we've made it back home technically we're not home home yet but we still call Memphis part of our home we've made it back from our family reunion in Indianapolis Indiana so right now we're here at the Bass Pro Shop as you all know my husband went fishing while we were there and so he had to stop at his favorite spot the Bass Pro Shop so you guys come along with us and let's go shopping because you know He's going to be shopping for something dealing with fishing. Everybody say hello to the hello. vlog. Hello, vlog. Malaika. Hola. <laughs> we'll see you guys inside. <laughs> he was looking at something to get for Pika, y'all. You know he got to get his baby something. Yeah. Big enough for her. Big for big so we're going to get her this little ball. The fishing area is my husband's favorite spot. So did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, so far so welcome back it is the next day so right now we're getting ready to go get Pika and fight <laughs> but before we go get Pika we're gonna go to Sally's I need to go and get some because I'm gonna start doing my own nails I know I've said that before I even bought some press-ons press-ons don't work for me either y'all I don't see how you all can make those things stay on for at least two weeks it doesn't work for me I've done everything that has been suggested on how to keep your press-ons for a couple of weeks doesn't work for me so let me get back on the subject i digress we're gonna go and pick up pika we're gonna go to sally's after we pick pika up we're gonna go to hollywood feed because she needs some more dog food and yes i know you guys have been requesting that we do a video on us preparing pika's homemade dog food pika does eat homemade dog food but there are times that when she runs out we have something that is very very close too homemade that we feed her. We don't feed her the junk. We don't feed her just any type of dog food. I'm not gonna continue to babble on. We need to go get our little fur baby. Y'all, let's go so we can go shopping. Okay, we're here to pick up Pika. We're gonna go inside and get her because we really miss our little fur baby, y'all. Let's go get our baby. Let's go. <laughs> we got the bubba. She's so cute. We got our baby, y'all. We're so happy to see her. She's so happy to see us. She's just been running around ever since. So right now, you guys, we're getting ready to take her to Hollywood Feed to get her food. Oh, we miss you, baby girl. Hi, dear mama. Hi, baby. We miss you. 
We miss you, mama. We miss you. Okay, guys, so we're getting ready to take her to Hollywood feed. We'll see you all there. What you smelling? Nope, can't have that. There's another dog in there sniffing it too. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there. So we made it back home. As you can see, we stopped and got us some salads from Zaxby. But right now, we're gonna eat our salads. Only thing else I got left to do today is finish doing laundry and a little folding. I made sure that with you guys. I'll see you guys in the next clip when I start folding laundry. Happy 4th of July to those of you that celebrate the 4th. So this morning, it's just me and Pika today. My daughter is celebrating the 4th with her boyfriend and his family. And my husband decided to go fishing. He asked me to go, but it's too hot to be fishing, y'all. So I went grocery shopping because there are some things that we need here in the house. So let me share with you guys the items that I got from Kroger's this morning. Starting with the non-food items, we have the Arm & Hammer Clean Sensation Scent Boosters. Now this one is the Purifying Waters and this one is the Clean Meadows. We also got some Soft Scrub with Bleach and pure baking soda. Now moving on to the food items. So you all know I always get these free dry strawberries. I always have them either in my oatmeal or my salad and I'm gonna fix me a salad in just a few minutes because I didn't eat breakfast this morning. Also my daughter, she wanted some strawberry, just regular strawberries and she wanted pineapple chunks. Now y'all, this is my weakness here. When the cherries come out, I buy them whether they're expensive or not. This is my candy. So I got two bags of cherries. Also I got some bananas, cottage cheese. Now we got cottage cheese for Pika because I'll tell you guys about that later because mm. anyway, I have three bags of my favorite Caesar salad. We have some rotisserie chicken. So we're gonna have rotisserie chicken for dinner tonight. Haven't decided on what vegetables I'm going to prepare with that. Also I have two boxes of Jiffy corn mix and Quaker Oats uh, one minute oatmeal. This is what I eat every morning for breakfast before I go to work. So you guys, this is my mini grocery haul that I got from Kroger's. And this little grocery haul was like a little bit over a hundred dollars. So, and I know it has something to do with the cherries and some of the other items that I got, but yeah, this is my mini grocery so haul. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna get ready to wash uh, the fruit over here and then put up the groceries. But let me tell you real quick about the cottage cheese. So as you guys know, we just came back home from a uh, family reunion and we had Pika boarded. Well, we always send her food with her. As you all know, I make her food and then if I don't send the food that I make for her, I always get food that I know that's not gonna upset her stomach and that I can send with her that's close to homemade dog food is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, they fed her, and we know they did. They fed her the regular dog food because they sent majority of her food back. And now her stomach is upset, she's constipated, she's whiny and everything. So I'm getting ready to fix her some cottage cheese and I know she likes that. That helps loosen her bowels or whatever. So if you have a dog and is constipated, feed it some cottage cheese and that will help them to go and won't be so constipated. But I did call them this morning. I forgot that it was the fourth when I called them. So it probably be tomorrow when they call me back. But I'm really upset about that. If I send something with my pet or either my child, feed that, feed my dog what I gave you. Instead of giving them your food, I know what my dog needs. I know you're their vet, but still, I know what I have my dog. Nah, I'm not going to. But anyway, y'all, I'm sorry for that rant. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So let me put my groceries away and I'll get back with you guys in a little bit.
Okay, as you can see, I'm done cleaning the fruit. I've already put it away and I already got me a bowl of cheers, y'all. Like I told you, that's my candy. But I realized that I didn't give you all a rundown of what we're doing today and that's really nothing. This is just a chill day at home. My last day off work, trying to get myself mentally prepared to go back. The only other thing I have to do today is laundry. I'm still washing laundry from when we were on our trip. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of laundry motivation. And basically that's all I got going on today, you guys. Really nothing. But I really would like to thank you all in advance for sticking it out this far with me. But like I said, I'm gonna give you some laundry motivation. I'm gonna fold a lot of laundry that I already have thrown on my couch and I'm getting ready to put some towels in the wash. So come along with me for that. <laughs> Revelation and pray for like the Holy Spirit to give you what you need for your own body. 